Okay, so welcome to Thursdays, and it's the final one with me on Discord this week. Uh, we will see what happens next week, whether Marion can find mm -hmm. a connection um, with a strong enough signal to run sessions next week. But the time will probably have to change because, of course, she's now in another completely different continent. So please keep an eye on the um, calendar and the forum for any announcements. If anybody knows more than me, let me know. <laughs> I'm always the last one to know these things. <laughs> and um, I just asked you who's been paying attention and well done April. Yeah, it is Roald Dahl day today, but we're not going to talk about Roald Dahl. Uh, the paying attention bit was, you know how I always say, check the um, forum. Yeah. Always check the forum, always check the forum. Now, I am behind on certain things in the forum. I will admit the vocabulary challenge has not appeared this week. Uh, but that's yeah, because that's have you forgotten it? Or I haven't forgotten, something? I just haven't had time. I mean, I've been running ah, these okay. sessions. As you know, my time is limited. So um, what I will probably do is we'll just have a break from that this week and we'll start again next week, okay? But if you find something's missing, you know, let me know. But sometimes I just have to think, no, be kind to yourself, Lynn, and uh, let it go this week. I'm doing four extra sessions this week. It's enough. <laughs> OK, so uh, you should have found in the um, forum that we're going to talk today a little bit about something we discussed in a previous session, sibling rivalry. It came, it cropped up in one of the sessions and I thought, oh, that'll be a good topic. Okay, so sibling rivalry. Hello, Naval, nice to see you. Those two words go together. Okay, they are two separate words, but together they make a specific point. Okay, anybody? Yay, Naval, look at that. Whoa, well done. You just advanced to level one. <laughs> okay, so sibling rivalry. Does anybody not know what it means? Or can anyone give an example uh, of any of those three terms? Sibling, rivalry, or sibling rivalry? Oh, I can try. Go on. I am just... <laughs> I am... Uh, rivalry because the April uh, is raining in the city of April. April. I don't know. It's okay. Mm. No. Not really. Oh. <laughs> correct, correct me, please. Correct me, please. Okay, so um, to be rivals with somebody, you've got to be in some kind of competition with them. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And really, the fact is, <laughs> ah, that's a good one. Yeah. So April's just given the meaning of sibling. That's brothers and sisters. Uh, rivalry. That's to be in comp or to feel you're in competition with somebody. To be a rival. Okay. Um, if you can imagine having rivals in school, maybe. Uh, you both wanted to win a prize. Only one of you could get that prize or be top of the class. It brings out this idea of rivalry, competition for the same, for the same thing. Okay. okay. So I don't think you can really be in competition with April regarding the rain. Okay. <laughs> There's not a lot you can do about that. And sibling rivalry. Yes, April, take the mic. Oh, uh, uh, what, Lynn? Uh, yeah. so sibling rivalry? Yep. What do I have to say? Just yeah, if, uh, I think it is, uh, for example, uh, after uh, the first, the, the, the oldest uh, child, and then uh, you get the, the second one. And then the, it could be a sibling rivalry also between the two, because then the, the, the first one will say, "Oh no, I don't. They don't love me anymore. My parents. So every every attention goes to goes to my uh, little brother or little sister." 
<laughs> it is only a rivalry in in the uh, with, between uh, little children, but. Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure if it's only between little children. I, <laughs> I think it sets a pattern that can continue to adulthood. Uh, Dope, you mentioned your brothers. Do you feel that you're in competition with your brothers? Yeah, it was exactly <laughs> like uh, April described. Yeah. Always Just... fighting for mother love. That's it. Um, I, it's natural. It's natural. It's what children do. And as April said, when when you're the first child, you know, that you're their only baby and then somebody comes along and suddenly you're not the only one and they need more attention and you feel it's it's linked with jealousy. Okay. Um, rivalry for president? Yes, Manju, absolutely. Um, everybody wants to be, well, no, I don't want to be president, but everyone who puts themselves forward for election wants to be president and there's a lot of rivalry between the candidates between the parties yeah it can get quite nasty so there's lots of examples out there is that is that clear Anina? yes yep okay <laughs> so who amongst you have got brothers or sisters siblings April, okay. Did you have sibling rivalry? Did it rear its ugly little head whilst you were growing up? No, we were all so uh, nice to each other. Uh, no, we didn't have that actually. My uh, older sister, she always uh, took care of us, the the young, uh, the younger and the youngest. And even my uh, my uh, youngest sister, we do, we didn't um, really have th that kind of rivalry between between us. Actually, um, no, we we played together, and my mother and my father they. They don't. They didn't have any problem with us. We have very nice children next to, and we were ten of us. Eh? There were ten of us, Ellen. Wow. Maybe by the time the tenth came, you all realised you weren't actually rivals. You were part of a gang. <laughs> you were clan instead. <laughs> okay. Who else has siblings? Dope, you've got siblings. How many brothers have you got? Two. Two, two brothers, so there's three of you. See, I've got two sisters. There are three of us. And we did have, we did suffer from sibling rivalry because there were three of us and my mother only had two hands. And I can remember we all wanted to be the one holding her hand, but only two of us could hold <laughs> her hand. And because I was the youngest and therefore I was in need of more care, um, she held my hand more and my two sisters did not like that. <laughs> not one little bit. <laughs> Mummy's favourite. And it was just purely my age. I don't think she loved any one of us more than the others. But of course, there's always that sneaking suspicion. Oh, mum's holding her hand. And um, yeah, she must be mummy's favourite. <laughs> <laughs> I have a younger brother and, and I was young. Uh huh. Did you feel uh, threatened by him? <laughs> a lot, a lot of time. Yeah. And my parents, my parents just said, "Ah, oh, it's just a sibling rivalry. It's okay, <laughs> and we should sort it out between us. Just it. Oh, it's okay. It's ah. normal. It's normal." Yeah. <laughs> no, that that can be difficult. It's crazy, no. That can be difficult. Yeah, they'll sort it out, but they're not wrong in a way. It is natural. It's going to happen. And maybe it's best not to take sides or because if you get involved the siblings will always think one's right and the other one's wrong <laughs> okay nina take the mic tell us tell us in in, in voice okay you you fitting no fighting we have well, I've, oh, oh, fighting. I, I type wrong. Yeah. Fighting. Fighting. A lot of fight. It. A lot of time. Yeah. Uh, 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 I don't understand. My mother and my father uh, don't uh, interrupt us. 
oh, stop, stop. No, it's a normal. It's okay. Uh, it's uh, just a sibling rivalry. No, it's no, no. My, my, my uh, brother is a uh, you boy. <laughs> Broken my, my toys, my oh, dolls. No. <laughs> All of time. Yeah, it's crazy. My, <laughs> my childhood is just complicated for me. Okay. Well, yeah, it can it can affect you as you grow up, I'm afraid. Naval, have you got siblings? Have you got brothers or sisters? Oh, uh, yes. How many? One sister. Just the one sister. Okay. Is she older than you or younger? Younger. So you're the older brother. Do you break her toys? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad to hear it. I'm very glad to hear it. Sorry, I've got a bit of a tickle in my throat. I've got, um, I don't know why, I've been talking too much today, probably. <laughs> Manju, what about you? Brothers, sisters? I have two elder sisters. Two elder sisters, okay. Are they nice to you? Do they look after you? Yeah, uh, they really care about me, but they usually snatch from their hand anything it would be. Hello? <laughs> Hello, yes. <laughs> so what, what, uh, what do they do? They, they... Often to snatch from... <laughs> Hello? For example, what? If you have, um, I don't know, if you have some sweets, they try and take them off you? No, they don't. They don't take uh, anything from me. I used to take. Uh, oh! <laughs> I used to. Uh, <laughs> as as I'm anger, I'm anger brother for them. They were uh, quite. Uh, uh, what to say? Uh, they they were not getting angry on me when I do some uh, uh, such kind of uh, uh, activities. So they let you get away with it. Actually, yeah. some, sometimes it's fun being the younger child. You you can get away with murder. <laughs> now, that's <laughs> not literally. That's just a figure of speech, to get away with murder. <laughs> I sometimes used my young, my youth, my, yeah, just to, I'd start crying or something. And it was purely my fault. But if I cried, you know, my mum, my mum would then tell my sisters off. So I got away with it. <laughs> Well, I'm only I'm only human. I'm only human. Okay, so let's do a little bit of reading. We're just going to do very sort of quick reading round today. Okay, so April, you were the first one to say hello to me. Would you like to start reading the text, please? Uh, okay, thank you. While many kids are lucky enough to become the best of friends with their siblings, it's common for brothers and sisters to fight. It's also common for them to swing back and forth, to swing back and forth between adoring and detesting one other. Hmm. Very good. I, I'd actually say one another. I think this must be an American text. So to, between adoring and detesting one another. So we've got two words there, to adore and to detest. They're opposites, okay? If you adore someone, you love them very, very much. If you detest someone, you hate them with just <laughs> as much uh, extreme feeling, okay? Um, so it's a bit like love and hate, but even stronger in a way. Yeah, absolutely, Nina. Um, if somebody says to you, I love you, that's nice, it's lovely. If somebody says to you, I adore you, it means it's almost like worshipping you, yeah? <laughs> and if you say, I hate Brussels sprouts, you know you don't like, but if you say, I detest Brussels sprouts, it's even stronger, honestly. People talk about love and hate, but adoration and detestation are equally, and if not stronger. <laughs> okay? Okay. And, and it says, swing back and forth. Okay, now that's not literally swinging. <laughs> um, okay, if you go on a swing in the playground, you can swing back and forth. You go forward and backward and forward and backward. But your opinions can swing back and forth. Your likes and dislikes can swing back and forth. One minute you like something, the next minute you hate it. When you're teenagers, 
your emotions swing back and forth yeah oh yes <laughs> hey you've got that to come yet april <laughs> with a bit of luck okay so next one who spoke to me and remember when i say spoke to me i mean typed in chat okay uh and that was nina so nina could you read the next text please Often sibling rivalry starts even before the second child is born, <clears throat> sorry, and continues as the kids grow and compete for everything from toys. As kids reach different stage of development, their involving needs can significantly how they relate to one another. Very good. Well done. Hey, you got the tough one there. <laughs> good job. Okay, so just first, rivalry. It's not like river. We say river, but rival. Okay, welcome to English pronunciation. Uh, makes no sense if you think about the supposed rules of spelling and pronunciation. River, why is it river? There's an E in there. Well, just because it is. Rival, why is it an I sound? There's no E in there. Well, it just is. <laughs> So, rival, rivalry. Okay. Try it. Rivalry. Rivalry. Not rivalry, rivalry. You've got to get that all in. Rivalry. Rivalry. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit of a tongue twister for you. <laughs> then, <laughs> grow, which is the past of to grow. grow. Yeah. To, uh, the, so, to grow. Okay. Not the past, the present to grow. Okay. Then grow. Okay. Um, compete, to compete. Compete. Yeah, we say competition, but you compete in a competition. And that makes you a competitor. Competitor. Again, that English pronunciation can't sometimes these words uh, that li belong in a little word family have very similar pronunciation other times you just have to learn the different pronunciations so the, the verb to compete compete the noun. in a competition yeah try try the whole thing you compete in a competition you become a competitor oh my god you compete in a competition you become a competitor that's it perfect <laughs> and then Thank this you. next one <laughs> Do you know what? Quite often people panic when they just see the suffix ly at the end. Uh, li. It's only a li sound, okay? So I'm sure you can probably say significant. Significantly. Significantly. That's Sign it. Significantly. Significant. <laughs> 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 Dope, you're giggling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so nicely read. And um, the sibling rivalry starts before the second child is born. It's that, what have you got in your tummy, mummy? <laughs> I, I hear you. Tuck, 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 tuck on microphone, Manju. Uh, I can hear. Yeah, don't, don't, don't forget, guys, when you're not speaking, mute, especially if you've got a keyboard and a desktop mic. Uh, because all the sound will come through, okay? <laughs> oh, it's clear now. Okay, okay thank good, you so much. good. Yeah, it's, it's just one of the, I suppose it's etiquette, really, when you're in a session with in a group. Um, even though Discord does allow multiple mics to be open, it's still better to mute them uh, so that noise doesn't come over, etc. Okay, so try to mute and unmute. But just don't forget to unmute, Nina. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we, we call it the second child, the third child, the fourth child. Okay. So you're the first child. Okay. If you're the eldest, you're the first child. And then if you're the middle one, you're the second child. And then if you're the youngest, you're the third child or the fourth child, depending how many children your parents have okay and it is about competition you know they do we do compete i mean we compete all the way through our lives sometimes don't we um 
and the attention. I, I think personally the attention is more important than the toys or the food. As long as there's plenty of toys and there's plenty of food, I think there's only so much attention you can get from your parents. I think the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the same. But mostly, I think we, we grow out of these things to grow out of something. You were the fifth, so you were right in the middle of a really large family, April. That must have been quite interesting. It must have been fun sometimes to have so many siblings. Yes. <laughs> OK, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> it was the first child. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you feel when you found out you were going to have a little baby brother or a little baby if you didn't know the actual gender can you remember how you felt when your pet did your parents tell you or did the child just suddenly turn up one day <laughs> remember really okay remember. okay no worries no worries i was <laughs> i i just because I was the youngest, I never got that sort of... Oh, because I, I was living with my grandma. Ah, uh, I see. I don't remember this time of my life because this... So pretty, very complicated then. Yeah, so yeah. about that, I don't remember. This, okay, this okay. Situation. No worries, no worries. Okay, so the next person to read... Uh, let's see who typed next. It's Dope. So let's put Dope into the list. And Dope, here's your text. Okay. It can be frustrating and upsetting to watch and hear your kids fight with one another. The household is full of conflict, is stressful for everyone, yet Often it's hard to know how to stop the fighting and or even whether you should get involved at all. But you can take steps to promote peace in your household and help your kids get along. Very yes. nicely read. Yes, well done. No corrections. Super. Okay. Conflict. Conflict? Can anybody give me an example of conflict? What's my conflict? <laughs> Is there any conflict? Have you got any conflict? <laughs> oh, it's... oh dear. Oh, ignite, dear. ignite conflict. <laughs> I master myself from day to day. <laughs> well, there, there are there are lots of words. Sadly, lots of words in in the English language that are similar to conflict. Can you think of any? Dispute. Yeah. Dispute. Disagreement. Yeah. April's typing. A quarrel. Yep. Argument, yes. Yep, that's another good one. I found Discord, Lynn. Discord! S Yay! Yeah! <laughs> you got the prize. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what the prize is going to be. Oh, you were waiting for that word. <laughs> well, it's kind of... I was going to give you a clue, but you got there. I was going to say, we're actually on one. <laughs> Discord. It's another word for conflict. Yeah. Um, let me see. Dispute as well. You can have a dispute. Quarrel. Quarrel. Uh, April already. Sorry. Yeah, quarrel already. Uh, April wrote it. So a quarrel. Um, let's see. Dissension. Dissension. Dispute. Yeah. Uh, dissension. Controversy. Hmm. Controversy. Yes, you can end up having some kind of uh, conflict over controversy. Uh, I guess that would also work. A clash, yeah. Um, friction, 
believe it or not, friction can also be conflict. There was some friction between them, as in they were disagreeing with each other. You could tell by the atmosphere. War! War is conflict. Conflict between two opposing sides or more sides. We often talk about different conflicts during war as well. So a I lot of sad. Found cliff. Cliff. Can you type it, Dope? Clash. Yes, yes, clash. Clash. Yeah, not clush, clash. Clash, clash. Yeah, ash. Like the sound ash. Clash. Clash. Yeah, good band, the clash. <laughs> Incompatibility. That can also cause conflict as well. It's not necessarily a complete synonym. Um, incompatibility just means you don't get on. But you might just accept that and not ever come into conflict as such. Okay? But rivalry, conflicts, fighting, um, it is stressful. Now, this one, this second part of the, sent of the paragraph, really, I was thinking about you when I, what you'd said, Nina. Uh, it's often hard to know how to stop the fighting or even whether you should get involved at all. That's obviously what your parents were going through. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, you can get a conflict on. Yeah, you've got you've got your favourite soaps on, but there's a film you want to watch on. There's a conflict there. Which one are you <laughs> yeah. going to watch? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to to uh, to record both, <laughs> but it, is, it was it was on on the same time, so I I couldn't. It said conflict. <laughs> it yes, said conflict. <laughs> two two programs competing for the same time. <laughs> Okay, so Naval, um, your bit of reading. Yep. Okay. Okay. Why kids fight? Many different things can cause siblings to fight. Most brothers and sisters experience some degree of jealousy or competition, and this can flare into squabbles and <clears throat> but other factors also might influence how often kids fight and how severe uh, the fighting gets. These include, sorry, these include, that's it. Yeah, there's a list in a moment, so well done. Um, so there's two more words there. Squabbling and bickering. So, do you want to just say bickering, Naval? Okay, bickering. Bickering, that's it. And the other word, um, it's not like seven, it's severe. So, you've got seven, but severe. Severe. Yeah, severe Very when it's... Word. Yeah, it when it's, it's, a, it's a modifier. It just means really extreme. So, a okay. severe injury is worse than a light injury. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, severe. Squabbles and bickering, they're the sort of fighting I think of when I think of children. I mean, children fight, yes, but they argue about tiny little things. <laughs> who's going to clear the table? Um, who's going to tidy up the room? Who's, who's borrowed a toy? It's, they're, they're not really fights, they're squabbles, and they're not really fighting, they're bickering. Okay? I think it's something we grow out of, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I well, in the past I thought it was something we grew out of, but since then the internet has shown that we're still capable of squabbling and bickering into our <laughs> late phases of our lives. So if you want to see examples of bickering, go on to Twitter. <laughs> Naval's typing. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> now, do any of you squabble nowadays about anything? Do any of you bicker about no, anything? I no, I don't like about hitting anymore. No, you do, you you want everybody to get on, yeah? I'm bigger than that nowadays. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm not so stupid anymore. <laughs> I'm more considerate nowadays. I think 
yeah, that's nice. Well, you're growing up. You're growing. You're maturing. <laughs> I'm always amazed at when I notice people squabbling and bickering about stuff. It's usually in a group. Yeah, very fun. No, it, it can be fun, yeah. But it's just like, why are you arguing about that? It's so <laughs> trivial. <laughs> ah. Well, actually, April, actually, April, take the mic. You say you bickered with Aladdin. Is that a specific time? Uh, no, uh, a couple of times in um, Natasha's... Uh session i don't know if we did that in your session but in natasha session uh, um, on wednesday and thursday we discussed the the article that we have read before the, the days or two days before and uh, uh Aladdin has always another opinion than us <laughs> So we bickered a little bit that no about internet, for example, and about uh, money, or about um, uh, 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 card, credit card. Uh, what is the name, Lynn? Uh, we we say that what money, not cash money, but uh, plastic. Uh, how what 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 was the the, the word again, Lynn? So it is not money, paper or or coin, but. Uh, it is card. We use the ca plastic money. Plastic. Yeah, it's manju. Thank Just you. Say plastic. Plastic money. Yeah, plastic money. And uh, well, actually, oh, because Aladdin has always hang another on. opinion. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm going to have to disagree with Manju there. <laughs> you can't say plastic money. It's just plastic. If it's on plastic, oh, okay. it's on your credit card or your debit card. If it's on your bank card, it's on plastic. Plastic money nowadays actually means money made of plastic. Our new £10 note in the UK came out today and it's actually a plastic note. It's not that we've no longer got the £5 note and the £10 note are no longer on this linen cloth papery material. They're actually plastic now and um, they're weird. They, they really are kind of slippy and slidey. I don't like them. <laughs> So plastic money is literally money that's made of plastic. But plastic, when you're talking about money, is your credit card, your debit card. OK. Ah, but I thought that it was another uh, term that uh, we, we read. You have read that also in a texting, I think, Lynn, on Monday, somewhere, some day, long time ago. Oh, maybe. Yeah. They said, they, what is it? What, uh, the, I don't on know. The I can't remember the, the first word, but credit. at the end, you have to say money. Yeah. Okay. Um, funny money? I don't know. <laughs> funny, funny money would be um, uh, fake money. But uh, yeah. I don't know. I can't think. Uh, maybe come to me later, April. Okay. But when you're talking about what. Okay. What started this conversation when you said I bickered with Aladdin? That would have to be a particular time. Remember when you use the past, the simple past tense, bickered? It's always trapped in time. So I bickered with Aladdin last week. I bickered with Aladdin in that session. If you're talking about something that you're always doing, I'm always bickering with Aladdin. Ah, okay. Or I bicker <laughs> with Aladdin all the time. I bicker with Aladdin all the time. Or but I not am. not in Ask Aladdin <laughs> session. No, because <laughs> then he will know will know better than me. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, I'm always bickering all the time. So I bicker with him all the time, or I'm, we're always bickering all the time. I'm always bickering all the time. If you think it's a negative thing, but yeah, it's about arguing about little things, not big arguments, not quarrels, not rows. Remember rows as well. That's the other one I wanted to add in. Okay careful of how that's pronounced so that's a row and let's see what I can do here that's a row <laughs> okay so if you go row, 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 that's a row but otherwise it's a row yeah row your boat yeah row 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 your boat gently down the stream Okay, so Manju, I think it must be your turn. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Excellent. Get a little bit of a longer one. There you go. Worth waiting for. 
Okay. What is it? Star and asterisk symbol. <laughs> okay. Evolving needs. It's natural for kids changing needs, anxiety, anxieties, and identities to affect how they relate to one another. For example, turtles are naturally protective of their toys and belongings, and are learning to assert their will, which they will do at every turn. So if you if a boy brother or sister picks up the turtle's boy the older child may react aggressively school age kid often have a strong con concept of fairness and uh, equality so might not understand why siblings of the other age are uh, treated differently or feel like one child gets profession uh, preferential treatment teenagers on the other hand are developing a sense of individuality and independence and might resent helping with household responsibilities taking care of younger siblings or even having to spend time together all of these differences since the way kids fight very good well done nicely read good good pacing as well okay so you had a little bit of an anxious moment with anxieties so we do say anxious but anxiety anxieties that's it yes that feeling of anxiousness so anxious anxiousness but then anxiety okay um, anxious and anxieties that's it good and then this one is a, a fun word toddlers toddlers Try it. Toddlers. Yeah. Toddlers. Toddlers. Yeah. You've got a baby. Toddlers. So when you're a baby, you babies crawl. Yeah? yeah. They can't walk. Okay. So when a baby is born, um, it just lies there, cries, eats, poops. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> then they start to crawl. Uh, April knows this one. <laughs> Then they start to crawl. They can't walk yet. But as soon as they can stand up and they start walking, well, they're not very good at it. They toddle. Yeah. Once they start to walk, learning to walk, they toddle. It's this sort of funny jerking, almost like they're falling over, always trying to find their balance movement. And so they toddle. So we call them toddlers. Okay. Okay. And then when they stop toddling, we call them children. <laughs> <laughs> but it's that sort the, of two, three, four-year-olds, the, the, the falling down stage, as I call it. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, April. I'm not even going to read that out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she is so different because uh, all the babies did that, do that. Uh, many times a day and for him it is sometimes one day uh, without <laughs> so so we are waiting and waiting because we are a little bit uh, worried uh, yeah worried. he might pop he might pop gosh maybe a change of diet <laughs> oh, oh, i love i love baby talk <laughs> okay so then um the next one this is for manju again um baby Okay. Try it. Baby. That's it. It's a long A, B, and then B. It's like almost like B, and then B. Baby. Yeah, that's it. Then ages. We actually voice okay. the E there because it'd be really difficult to do just, just like just, so. We have to put the E in. Ages. Ages. That's it. Then this next one's a bit of a mouthful. Individual. When you're we're all individuals, Indu but then individuality. Individuality. That's it. Well done. It's how we show our 
individualness, if you like, <laughs> how different we are from each other. <laughs> and then the next one, it's just household. Household. Yeah, so household chores, household furniture, things that belong in the household. The household is your whole family in a way. Uh, everything that's in your vicinity to do with family, it's your household, okay? And then younger. Younger. Yeah, none of us are getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, well done. Uh, let's give a shout out to Zubair. Hi, Zubair. Hello, how are you? Uh, hello. Hello. Hello, Tech. I I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm I'm absolutely fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, are you okay. up for doing a bit of, Are you up for doing some reading today? Uh, what? Do you want to do some reading? Maybe. Uh... Go because of my pronunciation is uh, not perfect, I think well, not if good. If it was, if it was, good. you wouldn't need to be here. <laughs> I presume yeah. that's why you're here. So, <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, there's your okay. text. Okay. Okay, so try to read it. Don't forget to unmute your mic and then read the text that I've just posted up, okay? Oh, no. uh, should I have to read the text, which yes, is uh, in the LEN member? Yeah, just, just read, read it uh, from LEN members group, yes. I've just typed it up. It starts with individual. Okay. Okay. Uh, individual compartment your kids individual tempart uh, it's really difficult to uh, pronounce it uh. so if, if you get really stuck on a word just ask me okay it's fine we're not in a hurry okay temperaments okay. temperament that's it okay thank you you're welcome thank you uh, including mode uh, disposition and adaptability and their unique uh, personalities play a large, large large role in a how well they uh, get along for example if one child is led back and another is easily rattled uh, they may be they may often get into it similarly a child who is especially uh, clingy and drawn to parents for comfort and love might be Resented by siblings who see this and want the same amount of attention. Very good. Well done. Okay. Yeah, Thank just, you. Just that and one what word. are the mistakes in it? <laughs> just that one. Temperaments. No other mistakes. Well done. Nicely read. <laughs> oh, so you, you're better. You. Like most learners, you're actually better than you think you are. <laughs> Oh, yes, exactly, you. April. And April used to run a reading session, so she knows. <laughs> so your temperament, when we're talking about somebody's temperament, um, we're talking about the kind of personality they have that they present to the world. Okay, I think people know that I've got quite a laid back temperament, but as a child, I was that clingy child. I was very clingy. I always wanted to be with my mummy. I was a mummy's girl. Uh, I always wanted to be holding her hand and getting her attention. And I think that's one reason there was some sibling rivalry. <laughs> okay. And it says here, uh, if one child is laid back and another is easily rattled, they may often get into it. Does anybody know what they're talking about? What do they mean? Get into what? Any ideas? What might they get into? Yeah, that's it, Manchu. Yeah, to get into it, that is sort of metaphorical for getting into that conflict, that fight, that squabbling, that bickering. It's mine. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. I said that. No, you said that. Mom, he just pushed me. 
<laughs> That's getting into it, okay? It's but laid, laid back is uh, laid the opposite back. of rattle, then, Lynn. Laid back, that means uh, silent, no? Not necessarily. It means very relaxed attitude. I'm pretty laid back, I think. Uh, my husband would probably laugh because he thinks I'm completely uptight, but I'm not. I'm pretty laid back when it comes to most things. I let things happen. I I don't worry too much about things that I can't control. Um, it's more an attitude to be laid back, to yeah. be relaxed but about things. But then I I will uh, expect that if the one is laid back and the other is rattled, so uh, it will be in balance. So they they won't fight, no. Well, it depends, because if you are somebody who's quite uptight, if you are easily rattled and you have somebody around you who's laid back, which is defined as relaxed and easygoing, it can be really annoying. So you'll keep pushing that person until when somebody laid back does pop, they can really, yeah, they, they, they just haven't learned to control. So, yeah, they'll still get into it. They'll still end up fighting because it's that clash of personalities, yeah? So the laid back one will probably be okay with everything until the day that he or she isn't okay with it. And then, bang! <laughs> okay, any questions? Okay, then let's speed on. April, we're back round to you. And Okay, there you go. Okay. Sometimes a child's special needs due to do due to illness of learning or emotional issues may require more parental 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 <laughs> parental time other kids may pick up on this disparity and act out to get attention or out of fear of what's happening to the other child mm. a little bit difficult to Be understand yeah, okay <laughs> <laughs> well let's start with the pronunciation um, we've got parent but parental Ah, it's a totally different <laughs> yeah. parental. parental. Parental, that's it. Uh, sometimes it can help to look, as you know, it can help to look at the actual um, text, uh, the phonic text for the pronunciation, especially when they're so similar, but suddenly the major parts actually change. So we've got parent. That's parent with the air sound and then per parental okay okay parent parental yeah parent don't forget the t at the end parent parental parent parental yeah and that's a very useful little sound in the if you want to learn your phonic symbols there air that air sound so pair and then that that other one is, of course, our favourite, the little drunken E, the uh sound. Uh. <laughs> the schwa. Why anybody called it that, I'll never know. Why didn't they just call it the uh? <laughs> it would have been so much easier. But anyhow, parental. Well done. Um, yes. When a child's sick in a family, or sickly, and it obviously is going to need more parental attention. Uh, and then the other siblings can either feel left out or they know there's something wrong with their sibling. They can't do anything about it. They can't help. They're out. They have no control. They can act out. They can start resenting the child and they don't know why they're resenting. They know they shouldn't. So they feel angry at themselves. They feel angry at the parents. They feel angry at the world. It's a vicious circle. That's what that, I think that's what they're trying to say there. Any questions? Okay. Uh, the disparity here, yeah, it is quite a heavy word for me to say that if if, if the other uh, child is uh, is uh, uh, 
always sick, always ill. You can't say that uh, there is a disparity. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. Is it, uh, is it a good... Uh, it's a negative uh, word. Uh, when there is disparity, that things are not equal. Okay, so often at the moment we've got a lot of problems of disparity in the world between the rich and the poor everybody goes on about the one percent you know the people with all the power and the money and then the rest of us <laughs> 99 percent uh, and it's that disparity that causes a lot of anger okay that feel uh, feeling of it's not fair okay and how many times do you hear a child go it's not fair <laughs> I wanted the chocolate <laughs> one. <laughs> he always gets the one I want. <laughs> You're back in your old level, Nina. Okay. Why did you lose a level? It shouldn't go back. I made some mistakes in the past, so I'm start again. Oh, you had <laughs> I'm to be back in the okay. <laughs> Oh, oh really? yeah, yeah, that can happen Never if you if you lose Never your login mind. and you make a new account, you will start at the bottom again. I was surprised when I saw um that I thought I'm sure she'd already had level eight, but they I was go. crazy. <laughs> I was crazy and nervous because I am the first time on Kiteli in Kiteli and I oh my computer is broken so uh don't work it well, so I uh, I need to to close that uh, windows and to, 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 uh, Oh, and you I wiped said, everything. Oh, okay. I <laughs> it's only a computer. I'm crazy sometimes. It's only a computer. It doesn't matter. If you only make mistakes uh, on computers, you'll be all right. <laughs> We've got nothing to yes. worry about. <laughs> okay, we're running out of time because I do have to finish on time today. We've got a Kitely session tonight. So let's do this last one. And I think it's Nina, it's your turn. Okay. Role models, the way that parents resolve problems and disagreements sets a strong example for kids. Who are, sorry, so if you and your spouse work through conflicts in a way that's respectful, productivity, and not aggressive, you increase the chance that your ch children we adopt those tactics when they run into problems with one another. If your kids see your routinely slam doors and loudly argue when you have problems, only to pick up those bad habits themselves. Okay. That's really true, isn't it? <laughs> okay, nicely read. Now, another problem with that L-Y ending. Get used to adverbs. When you see a word with an, an L-Y at the end, most of the time it's an adverb. And it's just look at the root of the verb, the stem, I should say, of the verb, and then just then think, okay, and the L-Y just means the way it is done. Okay, but let's, let's have a look at the first word. Uh, to disagree and to have disagreements. Agreements. Yeah, disagreements. Oops. Okay, we've got a little bit of um, breaking up on your mic. Uh, the next one, spouse. My spouse. Spouse. Those spouse. Have you got a spouse? But it means. Ah, so it's a little bit like that sibling word. So if you see number of siblings, Okay, on a form, and that's, in all honesty, the word sibling, we don't throw it about in general conversation. Do you have any siblings in, in chit chat, small talk? No, we wouldn't say that. We'd say, do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh, do, do you have a big family? That kind, Or do you come from a big family? That kind of, that's chit chat. Siblings is more the sort of thing you see on a form. So number of siblings, it means how many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, also, you might see name of spouse. And that's not just husband, April. Ah, yeah, husband for Nina. Yes, exactly. The name of spouse is the name of your married other, your significant other. 
So if somebody said name of spouse to me, it would be David because that's the name of my husband. But it wouldn't be the same for oh. you. And it wouldn't be the same, certainly not the same for Manju. Okay. <laughs> so um, if you're, if David was asked name of spouse, if my husband was asked spouse. name of spouse, he would say Lynn because that's my name and I'm his spouse. I'm his wife. He's my husband. He's my spouse. I'm his spouse. So it's a bit like sibling. There's no gender attached to it. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah, it's clear. Okay, good. Then the next one, your brain did a little flippity flop because it's not productivity, it's productive. No productivity. <laughs> productivity and productive. Yes, you have to be productive to increase producti productivity. Okay. And then the next one is that L white suddenly it becomes a, okay routine I think if you saw that word on its own uh, maybe often as learners you get asked about your daily routine yeah my daily routine yeah they are the things that you do routinely there's the adverb the things you do every day you do it routinely okay so it's just routinely try it Routinely. Yeah. Yes. And try to get from the N to the L Y without the uh routinely. Routinely. That's it. They run through. Oh, There's no okay. it's a silent E. Routinely. Okay. Very good. Routinely. Oh, okay. And the last one, habits. Rhymes with rabbits. Rabbits with bad habits. <laughs> habits. Habits. No, yeah. Habits. <laughs> <laughs> How many bad habits have we got? <laughs> I remember Alice in the other land, oh, so I confused the name. Ah, rabbit, rabbit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The white rabbit. Okay, so I think everybody, I mean, to me, we're all teachers, we're all students, and we can all be role models. Does everybody know what a role model is? Role models. So if you, if you hear the word model, you probably think, on the catwalk, on the catwalk, I strap my funky stuff on the catwalk. Uh, but a role model is something slightly different. That's it, exactly April. April's my role model. Yeah? Someone you admire, <laughs> someone you look up to. You like the way they behave, you like the things they do, you want to be a bit like them, and you take them as a role model. You you modify your own behavior to reflect theirs you modify the way you speak to reflect theirs they become your role model okay okay and we all have role models sometimes they're good role models <laughs> sometimes people have really bad role models but there you go um it's just human nature i guess <laughs> somebody once told me trump's a role model and i'm like what <laughs> sure you can do better than that <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. Uh, role model. <laughs> Don't worry, you are a good role model. <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> Thank you. I try to be. I try to be. But of course, I model myself on other people. I look at their behavior. I think, oh, I wish I could be more like, I must be more assertive. I'll be like that person. <laughs> Those gurus. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Okay, so we've run out of time as ever. I hope you enjoyed the subject. And um, here's the link. You can carry on if you're interested. Uh, it's it's an interesting little article. It does continue. So if you want to, you can carry on um, reading. Maybe, maybe April, if you end up, uh, your little grandson has a sibling, you might need it. So see if you can pick up some tips. <laughs> yeah, for my grandson, I still have... Uh the chance <laughs> no more for my son <laughs> no, because <too> <laughs> i don't think see uh, i don't think my son uh, will see me as his role model <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet you'd be surprised april i bet you'd be surprised he might not admit it but uh... <laughs> okay meet so... april and talk for us after that's okay <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Okay. Well, April, thanks a lot for coming. Thank you, Manju, and for taking part, and Nina and Zubair. And thanks, Naval, for coming along, and Dope. And uh, do you notice the ones who come read and run away? <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> you see, he's not, you see, he's not polite. <laughs> Actually, it's not about politeness. I don't mind. Um, I really don't mind. As you know, these sessions aren't, we're not in a classroom situation. Uh, so it's but fine. I think, but you I think miss you have, out. You have to say uh, Zubair, not Zubair. Oh, not Zubair. I don't know. I've, I've been saying Zubair. Zubair. For, is it Zubair? Hey, Zubair? Oh. Am I pronouncing your name wrong, Zubair? Oh, so uh, no, it's not. It's Zubair actually. Uh, text is text is pronunciation is it correctly? Ah, April. Oh, oh. oh. not Zubair. Thank you, I will Zubair. Say Zubair. Thank you, Zubair. <laughs> no, Zubair. <laughs> actually, it's not Zubair. <laughs> it's Zubair actually. It's Zubair. I'm right. I'm, I'm actually I've actually got my arms up in the air. I'm waving them around, doing a doing yeah, a happy why, dance. Why do you add the I then if you want to say it's Zubair? <laughs> you have to say it. We have to write it Z U B. Why? A A R. <laughs> why is mine? Why is mine's Lin? Why do I have the E? Why do I have double N? Why isn't it just Lin? <laughs> yeah, Lin one, April nil. <laughs> I was very worried because I do try to get your names correct, uh, the pr the correct pronunciation, and over time you do have to correct me if I'm doing it wrong. Don't 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 allow me to uh, mispronounce your name. I don't let you mispronounce English, so have a bit of revenge. But I'm very glad I've been pronouncing it correctly, Zubair. Ha ha, April. <laughs> <laughs> That's made my night. Anyway, I will. <laughs> I'll be in Kitely later, and uh, don't forget there is a spotlight tomorrow. Uh, if you go to the join us group, find spotlight, you can register there. Join me tomorrow morning. I don't think Aladdin will be there, so I might be talking to myself. But uh, never mind, I'm used to that, and uh, I'll <laughs> see you all at some point. <laughs> so thanks for coming, and take care. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Cheers. <laughs>